Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Oh boy, I'm hungry. Good thing it's breakfast time. Cafeteria is serving oatmeal for today. The workers have recorded the servings in the following line plot. Let's take a look. Okay, we need to find the total amount of oatmeal served. We know that the workers in the cafeteria gave out 10 servings of oatmeal in total because there are 10 dots. And each dot represents a serving of oatmeal. But each serving was a different amount. The number line represents the number of cups of oatmeal. And each section is divided into four parts. And so this means that we are dealing with fourths. Let's look at each fraction and find those totals before adding them all up. There are two servings at the first tick mark, which is a quarter cup. One fourth plus one fourth is equal to two fourths or one half. Next, there are three servings at the next tick mark for a half of a cup. Three times one half is a total of one and a half. And we will add in one for the three fourths at the end. There are two one cup servings for a total of two cups. And there is one serving of one and one fourth and one serving of one and a half. Now let's see what fractions have the same denominator because we can add those ones first. Now let's start with the halves. One half plus one and one half plus one and one half. We're starting with the wholes, one plus one is two. Now we can add the halves. One half plus one half plus one half. Well, two halves make one whole, so we have one and one half. Okay, we have a total of three wholes and one half, or three and a half. Next, we can add the fourths together. We have three fourths plus one and one fourth. The one fourth and three fourths combine to create a whole, right? So now we have. Aha, uh -huh, two wholes. All right, so now three and one half, two and another two. Well, two plus two is four, and three and one half plus four is seven and a half. A total of seven and one half cups of oatmeal was served. And I have my bowl of oatmeal ready for the next problem. All right, let's walk on over to this new problem. The line plot shows the amount Mia walked each day in miles. Aha, uh -huh. what's the difference between the longest and shortest distance she walked? Let's start by finding the longest and shortest distance she walked. The line plot is divided into four parts, which means we are working with fourths. The longest is going to be the mark furthest to the right. And it is there, one, two, three ticks past the one. This represents one and three fourths. Now, to find the shortest distance. This is going to be the mark furthest to the left, and here it is. The mark on the first tick after the zero is one-fourth. So now we have the shortest distance of one-fourth and the longest distance of one and three-fourths. Now we can find the difference between the two numbers. And difference means subtraction. Luckily, the fractions have the same denominator, so we can start subtracting. If we took one-fourth from one and three-fourths, we would have one whole and two fourths left. And we've found the difference of one and two fourths. And we're gonna continue walking over to the next problem. Here it comes. Will is measuring the length in centimeters of insects that he finds. If he were to line up all of the insects that were two and a half centimeters, how long would it be? First, we wanna find out how many insects had a measure of two and a half centimeters. Well, here is two and a half on the blind plot. It's exactly halfway between two and three. And there are one, two, three, four, five. Five dots, and that means five insects. So we can add up two and a half five times, or use multiplication. Let's add them up. Two and a half plus two and a half equals five. This next group of two and a half plus two and a half is also gonna be five, and so far we have 10. 10 plus two and a half is 12 and a half. So the total length of the insects will be 12 and a half centimeters. Cool. Aww, chicks are so cute. Fuzzy little yellow guys. Okay, we're given the weight of baby chicks in ounces and we're asked to create a line plot. Looks like all of the numbers are between three and four. And I can see that the smallest fraction is an eighth. So let's create our line plot and divide it into eighths. Now, let's plot the points. Three and one half. 
Okay, here's the half tick mark between three and four, and we can plot three and a half here. Next, three and one fourth. Well, to change the fourth to be an eighth, we'll need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by two. So three and one fourth is the same as three and two eighths. Now we can plot this point on the third tick mark. Next is three and one eighth that goes here on the first tick mark. Three and seven eighths will go here on the third tick mark after the half. And three holes is plotted here over the last three. Let's continue to place points on the line plot. And just like that, you have created a line plot. Nice work. Wow, time flies fast when you're having fun, my mighty friend. You did such a great job reading and understanding line plots. You were able to find the difference between amounts on the line plots. And you were also able to add the fractions up to find totals. Woo! I'll see you in the next lesson for some more math fun.